Um, today I would like to do a video on what's on my iPad. <clears throat> it's my iPad Pro. Um, I absolutely love watching these videos, so I always wanted to make my own. Anyway, let's just do it. All right. I'll just uh, go ahead and say that I have the 128 gig, you know, 120 something gig. Um, I love iPads, I love tablets. I've um, exchanged my computer and my iPad Air 2 to be able to afford this <laughs> because I'm an illustrator and drawing on this is a lot, a lot, a lot of fun. Um, but yeah, anyway, so I got it with the mo most gigs because it is my primary computer, although I am borrowing my mother's mother, my mom's uh, iMac. Yeah. Anyway, um, okay, sorry. So I got the space gray one uh, with uh, just the smart cover. I'm sorry, major brain farts. Um, as you can see, I uh, covered it in stickers because stickers rule um anyway it's really dirty i got the white one because i do like how it looks and i knew right away it would get insanely dirty really fast and so was the case there so then i just uh had these stickers which i managed to rescue from my computer um i took out a little loopy thing from a sketchbook that i never used and now i just have my apple pencil right there um, yeah, it looked really ugly, which is why, actually, the first reason I started to put stickers on here. I just kind of put on there and, like, taped it, and then put the sticker, um, to cover that. Uh, works pretty well. Works for me. But I'm gonna go ahead and take that out for now. You as well, pencil. Oh my god, it's so dirty. Sorry, hang on. I hate dirty screens. <laughs> Fuck, no. Sorry. Okay, this is not much cleaner, but too bad. Okay. Okay, so... Ta-da! Okay, okay. Uh, oh, bajillion notifications. Let me just go back real quick. So that's my home screen. Sorry for the reflection. You can see YouTube. Let me go ahead and at least dim that a little bit. One more time. Okay. I apologize. It's gonna take forever to film because I have a lot of stuff on here. Okay, 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 here we go again. Okay, that's my home screen. Okay. This is my, this is my first page. Um, sorry, it's not best quality. I'm doing this on my phone with the front facing camera so I can see what the heck I'm doing. I apologize, but let's go ahead and maybe I'll do this. Hey, check that out. I think that might work a little bit better. I need to get a tripod thing. Anyway, Facebook because it's Facebook, I don't know. Twitter, which I'm starting to get a little bit more into. LinkedIn, not a huge fan right now. The app isn't that great, but my marketing class, we are required to have one. And I already had one. I've had one for a long time. I just never paid attention to it. Dirt, go away. Pinterest, Tumblr, which if you have one, go follow me. It's Lala art designs one word and you'll know it's me because you'll see this rabbit hole anyway i said i wouldn't do that but i did sorry instagram which they still haven't made an ipad uh version and it's i don't know why it's really annoying it just fits like in the very middle of the screen yeah it's not a good angle for me guys uh <laughs> and then I have it's called display I guess um, it's basically ow there we go 
It's basically the um, portfolio app for Behance. And then there I have Behance, which is like an Adobe, um, I guess it could be technically an online portfolio where you post your art. Um, yeah, but it's an Adobe one and it's, it's pretty cool. I like it. Um, iTunes store, app store, a little shop thing. I don't, I don't shop online that much just because I'm really poor right now because I am in college and you know, I'm currently at poor. I'm poor, but I do have, I do forget what that is. Um, but I have the target cartwheel, which I used once. It's kind of fun, you just find whatever you like in their list of coupons, but then it just like creates one barcode for all of that stuff, and then at the end of when you're shopping, once you picked those items that is specifically listed in that, you just scan the one barcode on your phone, which honestly I shouldn't, I don't use it on here, um, and then it just takes all of those, it uses all the coupons. Groupon, Best Buy, Apple Store, and Target, I think that's Target no i don't know i don't remember podcasts i do uh, i love podcasts um i don't listen to them as much because i'm always i always get caught up watching videos while i'm multitasking um i love audiobooks as well but it's hard to pick i never know which one i want anyway um welcome to night Vale. that's the one to listen to news i do like i do like the news the you know, a uh, news app that just comes with iOS now. Alien Blue, just a Reddit app. Um, Flipboard. Flipboard, I'm sure everybody knows by now, but... Okay, fine, I'll open a couple of them. But it's fun, I don't know. I don't go on it as much, but it's just pretty. And every now and then I remember that it's there, because I'm so used to seeing it on my screen, I just flip right past it, but... Whenever I remember to use it... Hyper Beast. Um... Something cool, I don't remember. It's kind of just like a... I don't know what to call it. It's I don't know if it's for shopping. It's just news. It's like pop... Not even pop culture. It just looks pretty. There's cool stuff to look at. Cool clothes. Cool game things. I don't know. It's fun. It's called Hyper... Oh no. Hype Beast. Where was I? Okay. And then Newsstand. Um, I subscribe to Imagine Effects. I believe it's either five or six dollars a month um but you know like all the videos are embedded right there all the links so i do like physical magazines i do like physical books smell good i love it but this is way cheaper i can actually afford it and it's right here on this one little thing that i love i just take it everywhere i go with me so okay here's new stand i'll just uh go really quick over what i have um they changed it a lot so it's just kind of a folder now. It it really doesn't exist. Newsstand doesn't exist anymore. I just kind of had to name it Newsstand and all the magazines now just look like regular apps. So I mean that could be kind of nice for some people. I don't mind either way. Excuse me. The, uh, that was fake. There was a real burp coming though. So the first one on here is Issue. It's um not part of the Newsstand. It's just an app on the App Store. They have free free magazines to look at. Some of them are just samples of uh, magazines that you have to pay for. You can't, I don't think you can pay for anything through here. Everything they have is free. But they have some full like independent magazines to look through and some of them are really good. A lot of fun to look at, like to explore, see what you can find, you know, anything you're interested in, they probably have there. I sleep too much or sleep too little, I don't know, because I do both. Giant bags under my eyes, sorry. Imagine Effects, which, you know, if you love looking at art, digital art uh, in particular, um, or if you're an artist, this is great for inspiration. They have tutorials, they have a lot of free, uh, uh, like, brushes and stuff like that. They'll give you the links to, um, just amazing pictures to look at. It's really great. Computer Arts, I had a subscription to until recently. So a little bit more aimed towards graphic designers, I think. I could be wrong. Frankie is just another fun magazine. I don't even know what to call it. It's really hipster. Um, it has pretty pictures. It's, you know, for anybody. People who like to craft things. People who like to do art. Um, I don't know. 
it's for it's cool i think it's a pretty magazine <sighs> geek magazine which i have on here i don't even have a subscription to it i don't have any issues on there but yeah number five magazine that's a free one every issue is free i, I don't know sorry i keep looking like um communication arts that one is for um artists and illustrators i'm gonna move it over here and graphic designers like certain issues are really expensive they're like 25 dollars, but they're nice like i mean the physical issue i they're probably expensive digitally too honestly but they have issues that are like specifically sometimes for illustrators and then sometimes it's just for um like typography stuff like that but it's really nice it's pretty and i love it adobe create don't remember what that is uh geek magazine okay this is the one that i thought that one was so i don't know entertainment weekly rolling stones wired wired uk billboard uh total film popular science uh metaf metafire sorry i don't know that's for mangas i think it's free everything you uh read on there is free edge magazine scrawl magazine b street uh i don't know a couple of these are free i don't remember exactly anymore which ones a lot uh, yeah i don't know i think scrawl uh scrawl magazine is free um big spin magazine uh what's that about okay oh it's a skateboarding magazine <laughs> front yeah i think that's another skateboarding one go a folder called read and i have ibooks on there itunes u comiXology for comics manga rock i think i was wrong about that other one i actually remember what that is and weekly sean and jump video uh, folder, I have YouTube, YouTube Gaming, Twitch, Camcord with a K, is it's a whole, it's like a Twitch, but only mobile gaming on there, and uh, Android and iOS, I believe. So it's fun. Three, Netflix, Hulu, Playbox, ins, dot dot dot, I don't remember what that is, but they have free things to watch on there, and it's in the actual app store same with Cody xbmc dot 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 look at it and then bobby movie same thing it might have been removed from the app store by now i'm not sure but i don't know but it's uh, free movies and stuff and tv shows infuse i don't remember what that is videos ted for ted talks duh uh vimeo uh snag films and imdb that's it productivity it's kind of my boring like if i'm doing things that i'm not a huge fan of doing folders older uh there we go so i just have settings in here um so i didn't know where else to put it notes reminders gmail regular mail penultimate which i use a lot for um notes at school especially now with the apple pencil it makes it fantastic for sure anyway it's boring let's not go there um evernote pages keynote numbers drive docs slides sheets Numerical is just a calculator, file master, and I know a few of these are do the same thing, just a Google one, iOS one, but I don't know. Sometimes you might need the other one. Uh, go to meeting, see anatomy. That's more for I haven't uh, gone on it yet, but it was on the featured, you know, like best iPad Pro apps or something. Um, and I'll, I'll probably use it for references for drawing, honestly. And I I'm rough on my anatomy. I hate admitting that, but it's true. Onavo Protect, that's what I use for VPN. Maps, find iPhone, find friends, tips, contacts, my Verizon, 
um, Wells Fargo and currency, which is nice for just converting currency. This kind of works. It's jabbing me, but it'll do. Oh god, okay. Yay! Next page. Okay, this is my art page. So that's kind of how I like arranging my apps. I do use folders, but I think it's pretty to see the icons. Like, I like seeing them when I go into my iPad. So this first one is kind of like social media, news, a little bit of like work, you know, productivity things, videos, shopping. So it's, there's a lot of stuff, but to me it makes sense. Like, all that stuff in there, I don't know, just fit, fits together in my opinion. Um, and then my second page is just art stuff, so a lot of app uh, drawing apps. So the first one is Procreate. If you draw and you're interested in drawing in tablets, I'm sure you've heard of it by now. And it's there's a good reason why it's talked about so much. It's really good. Um, this cat background, I kind of I did it on there. Actually, it was a really old drawing that I took a picture of, and then just uh, remastered, like redid it, painted it on Procreate. Um, paper by 53, very fun. Um, I like to do like ideas and stuff like that on there. Um, sketches, also fun, it's very similar to paper by 53. Adobe Draw, um, fun. Adobe Sketch, Adobe Line, these are similar. Adobe Line and Adobe Draw are pretty similar. I don't know the point of having both of them, but I, eh. Uh, Lightroom, I don't remember what that is. Adobe Comp, Adobe Capture, Adobe Shape. I think these are kind of the same. They blended them together now, but I still have both. Uh, photography, I have Photoshop Express, Photoshop Mix, Photoshop Fix. These are all um, authentic Adobe applications. Uh, Sketchbook, which is Sketchbook Pro. I mean, there's they have three different ones. I like this one. It's the newer one, I think. I have a paint folder, which just has, like, fun painting apps. That so, I Art Rage. I know Art Rage is cool. It's laggy, though, and I was never able to just do, accomplish uh, things that I wanted to in it. But it has a lot of cool, fi uh, a lot of cool features in it. Um, Colorbox HD. I don't know. I feel like a little kid with that one. So, okay. Uh, animation desk, I think is what it's called. It just says, okay, yeah, animation desk free. This is the free. No. Um, Metabang Paint. This has uh, been, I don't know if it's new, but it's been more uh, talked about ever since the iPad Pro came out. It's pretty cool, actually. I honestly, it's in here because I haven't messed with it that much, and I just like Procreate a lot, but, you know, that one might be a better choice. I have no idea. And assembly. That one's just fun for messing around, maybe uh, coming up with ideas or inspirations. It's just like uh, shapes. You move them around, put them wherever you want, create creatures out of it, whatever you want to do. Concepts? Oh no, I didn't mean to. Okay, I haven't, you know, they've done a lot of updates to this reason. No, Siri. And I don't know how to use it yet. Um, how long is this? Holy crap. Okay. Concepts. So, I guess it's mostly for quick ideas. Um, it looks really fancy now, but a little hard to use, I think, from last time I tried. But I think they have some vector in there? I don't know. Regardless, the next one, called Graphic. Nobody can see what's on my screen. I'm just, like, talking and pointing to nothing. Sorry. Um, graphic. That's a vector drawing one right there. I honestly also need to play around with it more. Um, but that's why it's there. You make, it's for making like 3D objects. Haven't tried it. It was free and it was one of the featured apps too for the iPad Pro and it looks really cool. You can like draw anything basically and it makes it into a 3D object, I think. I could be wrong. Okay, and then I have another photography app, or I mean folder. And I just put all my photo, other than the Photoshop ones, I kind of wanted to keep those together, but I just put everything else in here, any, you know, like, photo editing apps that are out there that I liked. Um, so cameras in there, photos uh, app is in there, photo booth, pick fix, square fit, 
which you don't really need anymore, but before for making photo square for Instagram, but they kind of have it now so that you can, it doesn't have to be a square picture anymore. Like it'll show it's square, I think in the feed, but if people go to it or click on it, I could be wrong about that too. It's not, it'll be however, you know, or a shape it was before. Um, pick collage, which I use a lot for, if I ever feel like making a collage, I don't know. It, it, it's come in handy a lot actually. Um, faded, I don't know, cool filters. I don't know, I'm a filter person for sure. I love the cheesy filters. Uh, fragment, mixtures, stackables, lens, lens light, a photo blender, afterlight, union, snapseed, uh, glitche, glitche, I don't know. Sorry, my voice sounds, who am I kidding? I have a manly voice. Over, not sick. Pick lab, uh, font candy, which I've used a lot recently too. Um, it's nice for just adding font since I can't do it in Procreate. Right now, I haven't found a better way. I'm sure there is though a lot of those other apps that I showed. But anyway, that's just kind of what I've been using to make, uh, put font on top of images. Uh, text on photo. That's another one I got for the same reason. I haven't used it yet, though. These are all free, so I just, why not download a free app? You know, if it sucks, you delete it. You don't lose anything. You lose space, but that's not a big deal. You just delete it if you don't like it. Next folder is a produce. Wow, I'm sorry. That was probably really loud rings uh produce so i have imovie garage band launch pad i'm not a musician it's fun to play with maker which is for making business cards sorry uh. oh there it is it didn't come out last time okay sorry so unprofessional drummer i don't know more music making fun beat things uh, replay which makes like it makes slideshows for you based on dates, maybe, of when pictures were taken. I'm not sure. I don't know why I have it. I don't think I like it very much. Oxy? A-U-X-Y? Don't remember what that is either. Canva? I think is for making posters? I'm bad at this, sorry. Vaunt? What is Vaunt? I feel like I was on it the other day. Let's find out. Some sort of video. Oh, I think it's for editing video. Um, last folder in my artsy page is just called social, and it has the followers Instagram app. You just see people who are following you, new followers, things like that. Um, dirt, GIF, 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 um, GIF three times is for sending friends GIFs on text message or wherever you want. It's pretty cool. They have a lot of stuff on there. Okay, last page is my game page. Okay, first folder in my games page is Game Center and Touch Arcade, which is called Game Stuff. And then I have um, Knights of the Old Republic, Xeno Work, I think is what it's called, Implosion, which is a lot of fun, but it's freaking hard. Love hack and slash games though. Sci-fi, yeah. And then I have what's just called Action, which I think it just automatically named it that. Age of Wushu, Warriors 4, Darkness, Re... Da, da, da. Reborn, maybe? I don't know. Uh, next page is, or I mean, folder is called Adventure, and I have Order Chaos, Order Chaos 2, and Gods of Rome. Order Chaos 2 is a lot of fun, and it's better than Orders and Chaos. So cool. Just like World of Warcraft. Uh, Terraria, which I've been playing a lot of lately. Freaking addicting. <laughs> uh, Minecraft. Uh, Mortal Kombat X for mobile. You know, it's just, it's kind of boring. But I like it. I don't know, I have a lot of fun with it. Characters look really cool. Uh, Mortal Kombat 3. I don't think it's available in the App Store anymore. I downloaded it a long time ago. 
and I was able to re-download it because it was in my uh, purchased section of uh, the App Store, so I just I re-downloaded it, but I couldn't find it in the App Store anymore, unfortunately, but it's just Mortal Kombat 3, which I think is the one I grew up playing, why is it upside down? But yeah, I don't know, it's just, it does not want to. It's just, yeah, it's the little, you know, like, the thing that I grew up playing, and so I love it. Let's choose Sub-Zero. Okay. Go. Go. Oh, I have to choose. Go easy. Wait, I start with him? Oh. I thought I had to fight the boss first. Fight Scorpion? Is that Scorpion? Yeah, it's just the same. Okay, there's no way I can do this with one hand. But, look, it's the it's the game. And it's like this button, so it's not that easy to do on a screen. What? I did ice? Cool. Kick. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, this is hard. Ooh, look at me go. Fuck you, Scorpion. Ugh. No! Come here, bitch. Dare you. Ha! Ah. I hate it. Don't you know, hate when people do this? When you're trying to actually play the game, and they just did this, and they won, like that? God, that was so aggravating. No, no more. For now. Oh, 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 that confused the shit out of it. So that was uh, Mortal Kombat 3. Bit not doing a good job. Boop. Ow! No, no, okay, let's just continue what we're doing. This is already, like, almost 40 minutes long. Holy crap. Okay. Card Wars. I love Adventure Time. So much. And that game is a lot of fun, because I also love card games. Um, it's, it's awesome. Hearthstone. I got really into for a little bit, like, a week or two. Um, but it's fun. I do like it. I just don't play it very much. Uh, and then I have a folder that's called Card Games, because I have... Uh, Magic 2015 and Magic Duels, and then Pokemon and Digimon, which I'm assuming is a card game. I haven't uh, actually tried it yet. Uh, Battle Hand is also like, I think it's like um, a card game mixed. It has little animations in um, turn based battle. That's what I was trying to think of. But cards also. Sky Chasers. I played for a little bit and it kept making a really weird noise and I like fly around in a box. I think. Oh, I might delete it. Um, Clash Royale, which is so much fun. Um, Clash of Clans. I I don't like this game very much, but I still have it because me and my friend just got together and made a clan or something, but it's just so aggravating. It makes me angry. Then I have another folder called Arcade and Puzzles. I have Ocean Horn on here. That game is, it's so good. Like, unbelievable, unbelievably good mobile game. Um, I just haven't played it as much because I got a little frustrated that once I switched iPads, I lost my progress. I don't know why. Like, I thought Game Center would save it because it does connect to Game Center, but it saved it, like, a little bit. But I'm basically back at the beginning, and I had done so much. But it's like a Zelda clone. Um, it's really good. It's called Ocean Horn. I very much recommend it. Agario. Every now and then I get into that. Uh, Goblin Sword. Callie's Caves 2. Uh, RH2. I don't remember what that stands for. Anodyne. Uh, that game is so cool, too. It's another like old, old school Zelda game uh, clone it's really really in depth and if you like 8-bit games it's awesome but same deal with the other one with ocean horn i had gotten so far and i lost all my progress so i, mean, I just have it because it's awesome and i know that one of these days i'm gonna want to play it again um hashtag sorcery i don't know if that's how you say it it's a really cool game i I haven't gotten that into it yet, but it's it looks really cool. So I have it for later. Uh, Jupiter Jump. It's just a jumping thing. You just have to avoid the, la uh, not the lasers, the bomb. It's addicting. It's like a simple arcade style game. 
Evil Land, also really cool. Um, same thing again, lost all my process, uh, progress, but it's cool. As you play, you know, it starts with 8-bit, even the 8-bit music as you progress. It's also very uh, Zelda-inspired. As you progress, the quality gets better. It becomes a 3D game, slowly. The music changes, and it becomes more high-definition the further along you get, and that's really cool, in my opinion. Uh, Rust Bucket? I don't know. Don't remember. Dungeon Boss? Bastion is really cool. Super Mega Worm. This is a lot of fun. It reminds me of the stupid worms in Terraria, but you get to play as one, almost. Not really. Kind of. But you just go around eating cows, and if it's Christmas, you eat Santa and reindeers and elves. Anyway, fun. Frontier Defender, I believe, is what that says. The Room 2, because I finished The Room. Haven't had... I just haven't uh, done this one yet. I think I started it. Geometry Wars. BB Racing is very similar to Mario Kart. Uh, Raymond Adventures, I believe is what that's called. Quiz Up. Monsters. Uh, this game, you know, again, I had some progress in it and I lost that. But it's kind of cool. It's like a weird 3D -y world and you go around with a net and you beat up creatures and then you collect them pokemon -y inspired maybe shooty skies monument valley ire ire i don't know i don't know alien menace animal tree i'm hoping that you know at least by holding this someone maybe could pause and just kind of like look at them i don't even know if you could see them but if anybody ever does watch this just ask me things in the comments and to try to give you good answers okay this is almost 45 minutes long and it's gone way too far but i personally like long videos on youtube maybe not this long but long videos but we're almost done so now at the dock i guess the bottom <laughs> okay so there's safari and chrome sometimes one doesn't do it for me i switch to the other one i used to only uh, use chrome but you know, with the later Safari updates, I was pretty, I guess, impressed. So I, I moved over. But I still like Chrome a lot. And then messages. So I just have my messages. Uh, Facebook messages. This is the uh, WhatsApp uh, messenger app. It's crazy. It's crazy. No, I'm not crazy. And FaceTime. So, you know, communicating. Music. I have Spotify. <laughs> Which is freaking sweet. I love it. Music. Don't use that much, but you know, it's I appreciate it. Pandora and SoundCloud. Clock and calendar, just because I hated being like, where's my calendar? What day is it? So it's just right there. Um that is it. Oh, and like I said, I, I drew this image in Procreate as well as this one. You know, whatever. Um, anyway, that's it. That is what's on my iPad. This is my baby. It doesn't smell like anything, if you were wondering. The screen is quite dirty, though. Um, I don't know. But yeah, that did get me tired a little bit on this arm. <sighs> it's going to be sore tomorrow. I finally made this. I finally did it. Um, I will be making more videos for YouTube. Um, hopefully better quality, edited, nice looking videos. I spend so much time on YouTube every day, and, and I'm still rambling. So anyways, if anybody watched this, thank you for watching. I do appreciate it. Give me feedback. Um, tell me what you thought. You know, the whole thing. I'm not going to go over that. Thank you so much. Bye.